I know it's October 1st and I know you think we're probably crazy um, starting this early with the decorations for Halloween, but uh, that's our neighborhood. Um, October 1st, a lot of these houses already have their Halloween set up uh, in September. Um, here's one right here. Yeah, they've already got their ghosts, their fences put up. And uh, looks like they even have an animatronic there. Yeah, and this is October 1st, right? Here's another one. Just two houses down. Already have the graveyards set up. And then right across the street, these guys already have their ghosts and pumpkin. And we'll uh, keep going, but there's, you'll see there's tons already set up. Actually just, uh, set up from Home Depot and that witch from Home Depot I believe as well and on this side they already have the giant skeleton and graveyard and just down the street another house already set up here's another one on my way to the store I must have just put these up here but uh, this is Taylor's Ridge neighborhood. This is what we do. You should see Christmas. <laughs> I take it seriously. Oh, they're putting these up right now. Look at all that. Ooh, that's nice webs and stuff. Look at that. You have Taylor's Ridge. October 1st in Duval, Washington. Got another one here, looks like Home Depot grave digger, giant grave digger. And they got some web set up too. So, you know, that's just a few block radius of our house. Uh, so, yeah, I know you think I'm crazy by starting on a, right on October 1st, but these people have already been putting these up for the last two weeks so here's our house we have nothing and we're going to change that today okay i went ahead and laid out all the stuff we're going to be putting up today um and just sprayed everything just with some minwax polyurethane fast drying spray um so I use a clear satin finish on it and uh i like this stuff because it doesn't melt the styrofoam um too bad uh, it's pretty easy to work with um some of the other like varnishes will just completely melt um styrofoam now, obviously this is mostly loctite around here um, but we do have some styrofoam um on the little pumpkins and and uh, coffins that are inside the garage so i like to use the polyurethane um just because it rains a lot here you know we're in duval seattle area and uh um so it pours down rain here in october so i like to have some sort of sealant on top of this just to give it a little extra protection but the watch i actually is pretty water resistant on its own but uh but yeah it's pretty it gets pretty rough here in october so we're gonna go ahead and finish spraying all of these down and then we'll start uh start putting them up okay so for these panels here the uh skull panels we're actually going to put those on the side of the garage um, here. And they're going to go over those lights, exterior lights there. And then, uh, so we'll have two panels for each side of the garage there and over there. And then we're going to have to make the panels. I'll make those um, this coming week to go in the middle of the garage and above each bay and then we're going to make little jail bars in each one of those with that pvc pipe there uh, we're gonna make that on each one and each one of these bays will have a scene 
uh, for Halloween with some of our animatronics and stuff. So, um, so we're gonna get started and at least put up the the outside shield wall or skull wall uh, right now, and then we'll start working on the fence. The update two will have the other skull walls that I, I make and also the jail bars. Show, it, show you how we install those. Final fence. We've got the pillars with the wrought iron. We've got the tower. We've got fog. And that concludes our 2023 Halloween update number one. Stay tuned next week. We're going to be installing a huge spider, 14-foot spider, in our update number two. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy haunting.